Canon print business. In this tutorial, we'll be covering the topics of an overview of Canon print business, the installation of the application, how to use it for printing, how to use it for scanning, and authenticating with Canon print business. Canon print business is a free application from Canon. With it, you can scan, manage documents, and print from mobile devices. It is available for mobile devices using iOS 9 point or higher, or Android devices running 4.1 or higher. Works with any Image Runner Advanced Generation 3 device using Platform 3.4. You can easily search and register devices with their capabilities. You can also register up to 10 devices per mobile device. The Canon Print Business app can be downloaded from the Apple App Store or Google Play. Why use Canon Print Business? You can use it to expand the features of your multifunction device for printing, scanning, and sending. You can enter usernames or department IDs with passwords to devices with security logins. It works with documents in local as well as cloud storage such as iCloud and Google Drive. You can use the address book of the mobile device for sending documents. The supported print file formats are standard Office documents of Word, Excel, and PowerPoint, PDF files, image files such as JPEG, GIF, bitmaps, PNG, TIFF, and photos, as well as being able to print web pages. If I have an Apple device, why can I not use AirPrint? Well, it does not support all the printer's features. It does not support authentication if you have usernames and department IDs. It has to be on the same subnet as the mobile device. Is limited to the application is open and will not print web pages. What about Android devices? Android devices do not have a print subsystem. You require optional apps for printing and would be limited to those apps capabilities. Installation. In this example, you will see the installation of the app on an iPad. This demonstration will be used installing Canon Print Business version 6.0 on an iOS 10.33. Press the icon for the App Store on the iPad. From the search window in the top right corner, enter Canon. You can select Canon Print or Canon Print Business. Click on the download icon to install the application. The application is installing by the progress bar. The Canon Print Business app is now installed. Printing. Double tap the icon for Canon Print Business on the iPad. This is the default screen after installation or an update. Click anywhere on the screen. To add a printer, click the printer icon in the top left corner. There are multiple options to add printers. There is auto search, manual search, QR code, and nearby printers. Auto search will automatically search for the devices on the same network, same subnet. A manual search will search for devices by specifying an IP address, DNS name. It works very well for devices on different subnets. A QR code, you can register devices by scanning the QR code displayed on the mobile portal screen. The QR code display must be enabled at the device. The mobile device must have a rear-facing camera to scan the QR code. This is an example of scanning the QR code. It can be used for a LAN connection or a direct connection, which will be covered later. Nearby printers will search and register devices using Bluetooth connections. The Bluetooth compatible option must be installed on the device and Bluetooth must be enabled on the mobile device. Being able to use the guest user is not supported. To locate printers using the auto search, press auto search. Being on the same subnet, you'll be able to find any of the printers that are on that same subnet. Just select that printer. Select Add. 
and the printer is selected and added to the device. Using manual search, select manual search, enter the IP address or host name of the printer. Open a PDF document using Acrobat Reader and select Share With button at the bottom of the screen. Select Open In and select Import with Print. Tap the printer setting icon to make changes to the printer features. Users can set delivery options such as output size, allows you to select the paper size to print on, copies, the number of copies to be printed, print range, the number, the range of pages to print, source, select the paper tray to use, default is auto, and select color or grayscale for printing, default is auto, but this depends on your device. You can select two-sided to print single or double-sided print jobs. Select staple to staple the pages together. Two-on-one switches to print two pages on one sheet of paper. Output method, when you select that one, will give you an option of print, which performs normal printing. There's store, which allows you to store print jobs in the mailbox on the device or secure print where you can attach a pin number to the print job and release it to the device. Username displays the username when using secure print and domain name if required for printing. Under authentication mode there are three options. Off where there is no user management. Department ID management sets the department ID information and user authentication sets the user authentication information. You can store the user's department ID and pin in the app you can also set a selection to confirm the PIN ID when submitting jobs. You can also store the username and password in the app if the setting is for user authentication. With the print settings configured, tap Print to print the job. The job is printed at the machine. Secure printing. Open a sample file in Acrobat Reader and then select Share with, Open in, Import with Print. Select Print Settings and select the Output method. Select Secure Print. And you see the output method has now been changed to secure print. Press secure print as the button's been changed from print to secure print. You'll be prompted to enter the pin number that you'll be using for this print job and then press OK. The job is then sent to the printer. From the control panel, select print. You'll see it with a little lock icon. And you can highlight the secure print job. You can press Start Printing. A prompt will ask you to put the PIN code in, then press OK. The job is released and printed. Mobile Portal Direct Connection. If the direct connection for Mobile Portal is not configured on the machine, follow the next steps to configure the direct connection access. From the control panel, press Settings Registration. Press Login and enter the administrator name and password, then press Login. Press Preferences, Network, Direct Connection Settings. Press Direct Connection. Press On, then press OK. 
Press Access Point Mode Settings. Use Personal SSID and Network Key. Use this setting to provide a personal SSID and network key created by the device. But this way you can only connect one mobile device at a time. Note the unique name for the SSID and the network key. The SSID and the network key will change each time the direct connection is enabled. With Use Personal SSID turned off, enter a name for the SSID to use. Then enter a 10-digit network key. With this method, you can connect up to five mobile devices at one time. Select IP address settings for a direct connection. The default IP address is 192.168.22.1. The IP address can be changed to any value. Press Apply Set Changes to apply the settings. You must restart the device to apply the settings. Open your PDF file and select the Share menu. Select Open In and select Import with Print. With no printer selected, select Printer and select QR Code. Press Mobile Portal on the control panel. Users can connect to the device through their network access point or use the QR code to connect. Select Direct Connection and then press Enable. With Direct Connection enabled, you can see the SSID and the network key is there. And this is the same information that was configured earlier. Use the mobile device to scan the QR code. Once it's scanned, it will prompt to say if you wanted to join the network. Press Join. The settings for the Wi-Fi are passed to the mobile device. The mobile device network settings are changed to the access point from the machine, so the user does not have to search for the Wi-Fi network. Here we can see we are currently connected through a Wi-Fi to our LAN network. And in our other networks, we can see the SSID from our device. After scanning, it changes to the SSID of our device but still having our LAN network available. The printer information will be updated on the app. Items such as paper supply, toner, finishing options, and department ID numbers will be added. Press print, and the job is printed. Scanning. With Canon Print Business, you can receive data that was scanned from an MFP device to your mobile device. You can receive the data in multiple formats such as PDF, JPEG, TIFF, and OOXML for editing. You can share or open in different applications. You can send the file as an attachment in an email. The mobile device must be configured for sending. You can use your own address book for sending. You can also take and print out the file on a printer. It can be the same printer or a different one. To enable scanning from Canon Print Business, you must enable Scan for Mobile on the device. Open the Canon Print Business on the mobile device. Select the Printer Plus icon in the top left corner. If you don't have a printer, Select Auto Search, which will look through the same subnet. Or you can do manual search by typing in the IP address or the printer name to be able to find it. The IP address can be found under Scan for Mobile. You can use a QR code. So by selecting the QR code 
and select Mobile Portal on the control panel, either under LAN connection or direct connection, and then scan the QR code with your mobile device. The printer is added to the device and the printer information is updated. Place the originals in the feeder or on the copyboard glass. Select Scan for Mobile to ensure that it's on and press Scan. If you forget to turn on Scan for Mobile, you'll be reminded to turn it on. Press Continue. You can make changes to the scan settings by pressing the icon. You can change various scan settings such as the scan mode, be it color, black and white, or grayscale. You can modify the resolution. You can select the original size, which supports standard paper sizes. There are file formats that will be scanned back in, be it PDF, JPEG, TIFF, or OOXML in a PowerPoint or Word format. You can select a two-sided original. The original type, be it text, text photo, and photo, and density adjustments of plus or minus four. The PDF options are Compact, Encryption, and OCR. Place the originals in the feeder or on the glass and then press the scan button. The originals in the feeder are scanned and the scanned pages are sent to the mobile device. The pages will appear in the application. The pages can be uploaded to an iCloud, in this case with Apple. can be printed on the same or another printer if those editing was done. You can also open in another application such as Acrobat or Word. Scanning with email. To be able to send the scan documents by email, the mobile device has to be configured to send emails. Open settings on the mobile device and select the email account on the mobile device. Enter the email account information on the mobile device. The IP address of the email server can be used instead of the server name. From the home screen, select App Settings. Select Send To the default is none, meaning that there's no email address, and enter the email address that will be the default email address to send to. Select email. The preset email will auto-populate the to field. You can use more email addresses when sending using the contact list of the mobile device. With the email address added to the To field, press Send to email the document. You open your email program. If there's no new emails, press Send Receive, and you should see the email from your mobile device. Using Authentication With Department IDs enabled, um, and Allow Print Jobs with Unknown IDs is set to Off, Print jobs don't print when being sent from a mobile device. If we're looking in the error code, you'll see a pound 701, which is an unknown ID. So how do I enable department IDs on my mobile device? Open a file in Canon Print Business and press the printer icon. Select Printer. From the printer you'll be using, press the information icon. Select printer settings. And select update printer information. The printer information will be updated. And we select print. The job is spooled to the machine. 
and you'll be prompted for a department ID and password. Once those are entered, then the job will be printed. Question may have, do I have to enter the department ID and password each time you print? Yes. But you can store it onto the application. If we go into print settings and select authentication mode, which is right now is department ID. So select department ID management and enter the department ID number and PIN. Deselect Confirm Department ID and PIN when printing. That way the user doesn't have to re-enter the department ID or PIN number. Press Print. And the job is printed without a prompt for a department ID. And each job that will be printed, regardless of the application, the department ID and PIN are stored on the mobile device. User Authentication If the setting Restrict Job from Remote Device without User Authentication is set to On, Print Job from Mobile Devices will be deleted without printing. This is under Settings, Registration, Management Settings, User Management, Authentication Management. You can confirm if the user is authenticating locally or on the machine or using Active Directory or LDAP. Open a file to print. Press the Share button. Press Open In. Import with Print. And press Printer. Select the information icon next to the printer you're going to be using. Press Printer Settings. And press Update Printer Information. The printer information is being updated. And press OK when complete. Select Print. And enter the username and password that can access the machine be a locally or active directory, and then the file will be printed. Each time a user prints a file, the user will be prompted to enter their credentials each time they print, as long as they are authorized to use that printer. To add the user credentials to the app for authentication, from the home screen, select App Settings. Select User Information. Enter the fields for Username, username password, and the domain name if required for printing. From the Canon Print Business application, select the Printer Plus icon. Select the information icon next to the printer you will be using. Select Printer Settings. And select Update Printer Information. And press OK when complete. Now, when you print through the Canon Print Business app, no authentication is required. Occasionally, the app may pop up um, asking you to put in the password to be able to print. So, to press printer settings, go to user authentication mode, user authentication, and confirm the username. Enter the password, but uncheck confirm username and password when printing. When Confirm is set to On, it will always prompt for a password. After pressing Print, the file will be printed without a prompt for username and password. With the username and password stored on the app, the machine will not ask for authentication. This will not change even if printing different files, because the password is now stored on the app.